I usually don't talk about filmmaking gear on this channel, but I have to talk about this because it is a technological masterpiece. This strange looking camera that you see is the new DJI Ronin 4D. It's a camera and a gimbal combined in one single body. In case you don't know what a gimbal is, it's basically a 3-axis stabilizer that stabilizes your camera with the help of counterweights. You load your phone or camera onto the gimbal's holder, balance the counterweights and make sure that the camera is horizontally balanced correctly. And then you can use your gimbal to move around and record steady videos. It's a great system for solo filmmakers like myself or a small group of budget filmmakers who don't have a lot of gear. But it has some problems though. As I mentioned, you have to balance the camera and the lens on top of this gimbal thing. So each time you change the lens, you have to rebalance it. Not to mention you have to charge this gimbal separately. And even when the gimbal is correctly mounted, you get some horizontal movement because it can't balance the Z-axis correctly. Well, the Ronin 4D has pretty much solved everything. The sensor and the camera's brains are separated and they are separated by this long neck looking thing. And it has optical sensors underneath the camera that can measure the vertical distance, which means that this is a four dimensional balanced gimbal, hence the name 4D. It can also balance up and down movements without any problems. It has a gorgeous 6K sensor built into it and there's also an 8K version with fantastic dynamic range. Again, talking about the rebalancing part, DJI makes a bunch of lenses which are pre-calibrated. So if you're switching between their own lenses, you don't have to spend any time rebalancing this. It's just as fast as replacing the lens on your normal camera. Just remove the older one and put a new one in place. DJI had already made a LiDAR based autofocus system that brings autofocus to manual lenses and manual cameras. It uses infrared to determine the distance between objects and it even allows you to use that same information to pull focus manually. Like it gives you a three dimensional representation of what's there in front of the camera so you can properly focus on any plane that you want. So you don't have to stare at your screen making sure that it's in focus or not. And yeah, it's even better than focus peaking to ensure that the object that you're trying to focus has that color on it or not. So many awesome technologies, one device, and it costs only around $7,000, which is nothing compared to the cinematic camera's world. This is like an all-in-one computer of the camera world, except, you know, it doesn't suck. I do see one small drawback though, and that's the recording format. Uh, it records an Apple ProRes RAW, which is, I mean, it's a good format, but as I said, it's Apple codec, so it's not supported in all color grading platforms. So for instance, if you are using DaVinci Resolve, you probably won't be able to use the RAW footage. Of course, I'm not a pro filmmaker, so there may be other ways of getting raw footage out of this. If anyone has a better idea on it, please do let me know. But yeah, it's a pretty stellar camera. I mean, one person can do three people's job. You can automatically pull focus, you can stabilize the shot, and you can get stellar looking 6K or even 8K videos. And this is the first iteration of this series. Like Ronin 4D is the first camera of its kind. It can only get better from here. So imagine what the second version or third version of this would be. How, how do you do it DJI? Just how? What is your secret? Anyway, I'll leave a link to their resource in the description. You can go ahead and check it out if you're interested. Of course, it's not for any hobby filmmakers who uh, just want to get a camera to get started. It's for those who are already in the game but want a rig that does everything with very minimal effort. Companies like GoPros, Blackmagic and DJI are making high quality equipment available to the masses and I think that's an awesome thing. Let me know what you think of the Ronin 4D gimbal camera. Are you interested in cinema cameras at all? If you'd like to talk more about things like this, then be sure to check out our Discord. Link is in the description.